12. Now, cats have a tendency to become addicted to their food. They only want to eat dry food. I hear this all the time. For those of you who have cats that only want to eat dry food, there's a website. Uh, it's uh, www.catinfo.org. It's a website by Dr. Lisa Pearson where she describes some techniques for trying to get your cat switched over, where cats switched over from eating a dry food to eating a canned food or a more appropriate carnivore diet. GNP1, if you remember, is one of the formulas that I use to treat type 2 diabetes. I mentioned then that GNP1 was quite remarkable. This is one that will treat diarrhea. It can treat chronic vomiting, inflammatory bowel characterized by chronic vomiting. It also treats inflammatory bowel disease where there is some diarrhea and vomiting. And I would just say that in this particular, with this particular herbal, some cases of IBD, especially in young cats, can be resolved in as, quick, as quickly as, I think the last one that I treated, it took three months and the cat had been ill for over a year. And so I'm continuously amazed. I've treated probably 10 or 15 cats with this formula, GMP-1, for inflammatory bowel disease, and with a dietary change, it resolved. And so that's why I'm presenting this formula for the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease in cats. I think it's really, it's really wonderful. And here's a case, here's one of the cases. I told you I treated several, and so I decided to share this case with you on Anya. Anya is a two-year-old female spayed Norwegian forest cat who was gotten from a breeder. Prior to her becoming ill, she was a uh, you know, regular, normal cat. Her primary complaint when she came to me was that she had been diagnosed with lymphocytic plasmacytic inflammatory bowel of eight months duration. And she had had the entire gamut of conventional drugs and none of it had helped. She had persistent vomiting and diarrhea and anorexia with weight loss to the point of emaciation. She looked like a scarecrow. She was very lethargic and depressed. So this cat was one that had runny diarrhea that had blood mucus off and on, lots of vomiting. She would always strain and yowl when she went to defecate in her litter box. And her diet was dry Imes cat food and she was eating Imes dental treats and that was her only diet. She was given no other types of food. So whenever you see a cat that's eating dry cat food, that's eating cat food that has grain in it, that should be one of the very first flags that say, hmm, you know, this is probably one of the major reasons why the animal isn't feeling well. And so especially in cats, if I see them eating a food such as a dry food, I usually suggest to the owners that they try to make every effort to change them off of it because if they don't, it will be difficult for me to treat the animal. And so when I saw Anya, she was emaciated, she had marginal hydration, she was depressed, she had a greasy, dirty hair coat, she was non-grooming because she felt bad and she had really bad foul halitosis. Most of the time if you have really foul hal halitosis, it indicates that there is some food stagnation or stomach heat. She had borborygamous. The owner said that they could hear her stomach growling from across the room. She had flatulence when her abdomen was palpated. She had very thickened intestines, and she had shoe point sensitivity for the liver and gallbladder, spleen, and stomach. Her tongue was a pale purple pink and swollen with sticky saliva, so we know that she had some spleen she deficiency with damp, and her pulse was rapid, slippery, and weak. So her TCVM diagnosis was food stagnation with damp heat in the intestines. And our treatment principles were to drain damp and clear heat and regulate chi, relieve stagnation, and tonify the spleen. So we began herbal therapy with GMP-1. We gave two tea pills twice a day. And because Anya was owned by my violin instructor from another state when I used to live in Washington State, and I went up to visit her, specifically to treat her for my violin instructor. She did not get acupuncture from me because I was in California. But my client, my violin instructor, was very good at treating Anya and giving her all of the things that she should have. And as a result, she was eating without vomiting in one week. Her stools were still loose but weren't bloody or, or watery. By one month, she was playing and had no vomiting and diarrhea, and she gained back two pounds. 
and she was grooming and playing again. And by eight weeks, this cat was back to normal and she continues to do well a year later. Now it's actually been two years. So Anya's doing really well two years later and this is her. Okay, she was a really pretty cat. I wish I had taken a picture of her when she had lost all of her weight, but she's doing quite well now. So chronic vomiting in cats, this is something that comes up quite a bit in practice. Uh, the chronic vomiting, yes, chronic vomiting can be a sign of inflammatory bowel disease. But in many cats, the cats aren't losing weight. They don't, they vomit every week, probably maybe three or four times, but they're not vomiting every day. But still the chronic vomiting is a problem. And in many of these cats, they're eating a dry food diet or they're overeating. Some of the cats are just obese and they have free access to dry food and they overeat all the time. So they have vomiting of undigested food. They have the foul breath and flatulence and belching. That's commonly seen in food stagnation cases. The tongue is normal to red and could have a greasy coating and the pulse can be normal to slippery. Food stagnation can cause a slippery pulse. And so the TCVM pattern in these types of cases is food stagnation because you can see this chronic vomiting in cats that are one to two years of age. I commonly see the animals brought in, cats brought in for this complaint. And so my herbal formula that I asked them to try first is Bao Hei Wan. When they try Bao Hei Wan, which is the classic formula for food stagnation, I have some pretty remarkable results. And I would say that Bao Hei Wan Preserve the Harmony pill is a a herbal formula that promotes digestion and relieves stasis and stops vomiting. But for the best results, I have owners who say, well, can I keep giving him dry cat food? And I'm, well, no, you can't, because that's the primary problem. So for best results, we ask them to change the diet to a species appropriate food and to not feed any dry cat food. And this is how you're gonna get the best results in these patients. But this is a very effective formula, especially in younger cats that have vomiting. Now. If you have a cat that's older, most of the time those cats with chronic vomiting, they started out with food stagnation and then that food stagnation has progressed into the development of inflammatory bowel. And cats that have lymphoma many in many cases of the GI tract, that's where they went from food stagnation, then they went to inflammatory bowel, and then they had so many chronic changes, they went to lymphoma. And I see that occurring frequently in a lot of the cats that have been under my care.